Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to do JSON decoding with Swift 5. It's a very simple task and it's actually a very trivial task for you if you're learning to become an iOS developer because most of the work that you do as an iOS developer will be networking based and uh, you will get a response back from a REST API say in the format of JSON uh, which stands for JavaScript or, uh, object notation and you have to parse that data and show that data up on the screen. So this is a very important part and in this video we're going to be seeing how simple it is with Swift 5 to do JSON decoding and JSON parsing. So let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to this URL. This URL is present in the description box underneath this video. Uh, this is a sample JSON uh, that you can try and we're going to be using this exact JSON to uh, do our parsing and decoding. So I want you to do command A and then command C to copy this entire file and then paste it in a JSON parser online. Again, this will also be there in the description of the video. As we can see, the structure of this is there is an array. So there's an array of 100 objects and each uh, item in the array is a dictionary. And this dictionary has a key called user ID, ID, title and the body. So these are the things that we need and one of this dictionary is called a user. That's what we'll be calling it since it has data regarding one user. Let's hop into Xcode. Uh, we're going to make a function that does our networking. So we'll say file private func uh, do or get data. And in this is where we will do our stuff. So we'll first make a URL object. So let URL is URL with a string. So with a string and the string will come from here. So this is the string that we're going to be using for the URL. We're going to paste this here. And since we know that this URL exists, we can force unwrap it without worrying about it. The next thing we have to do is start a URL session, which is going to be our networking call. So for that, we're going to do URL session dot shared dot data task with URL, we're going to pass in this URL. And since this URL is not an optional, there will not be any errors here. And uh, this URL session will return us three variables inside a closure. So we can use the curly brackets and then a round bracket within in, uh, within the uh, curly brackets. And we're going to pass in three variables. So we're going to call response, response, or we're going to pass in data, uh, response, and then we're going to get an error in and then we're going to press enter and then we make some space so that uh, we have uh, some space to work with. So now uh, once this URL session completes, we're going to get a data, a response and in case of failure, we're going to get back an error. So inside this is where we'll do uh, most of our work and actually pretty much all of our work. But before that, we need to make a structure that will hold the keys to the users that we're going to try to retrieve from the URL. So for that, underneath your view controller class, you can just go and make a structure. So struct users is what we'll call. And this is very important that this has to be decodable so that we can decode the response in, uh, from the JSON file. And the structure user needs to have these keys. So as we can see, the first key is a uh, user ID. Then we have ID, title, and then body. So we're just gonna take a look at ID, title, and body for this video. So we're gonna say let ID is of type integer. They're going to say let uh, title is of type string and let body is again of type string. It's very important that these variable names that you have assigned here match exactly how it is uh, in the JSON response. Otherwise, it won't be able to decode exactly. So this users is going to be an array. As we can see, there are 100 users in it. So when we get our response from the URL session, we, we're going to put it through a do try catch block. So we're going to say do. Uh, and within this, uh, we're going to do a ca uh, try and then outside this, in case of an error, we're going we're gonna to put a catch. So in catch, we're just going to say print, um, there was an error uh, finding the data, something like that. Uh, and we're going to come out safely from it without crashing the app. And within do is where we're going to do our stuff. So now we're going to implement a JSON decoder. So we're going to say let users is uh, going to be uh, try json decoder json decoder uh, empty initializer dot decode and we're going to get our uh, type and from data so the type is the structure of data that we want to decode so that's going to be an array of users so users uh, dot self and from which data is the data that's coming in from the closure block so we're going to pass in data and for now we're going to forcefully unwrap it but please do not forcefully unwrap variables in Swift unless you know that there will be a value inside them. This is just for this video. So if you're lucky, you're going to have an array of users right now. 
So we can use a for foreign loop to iterate through the user and its properties. So we're gonna say for user in users. Now we can print out the details of the user. So we can say print. Um, so we'll say print, uh, apparently I can't type. Um, ID is gonna be string interpolation, the ID from the user. So user this object dot its ID property. We're gonna say body is uh, body is user dot body. There we go. Uh, uh, there is supposedly no error right now, but there's one key thing still missing. Uh, that is we have not called dot resume on the data task. So unless you call dot resume, you will not see any result. Uh, so please be sure to call dot resume after you finish your URL session. So in and then you call dot resume here. And one more thing, please call get data in your view did load function. Otherwise get data will obviously never be called and you'll be wondering what mistake you have made, even though that pretty much might not be a mistake at all. So we're gonna call get data and uh, it looks, everything looks fine. And we're gonna run it in our iPhone 8 simulator since it takes up less of my memory and uh, it'll run faster. Simulator is running and we can see that our output is there in the console. So we have an ID, the title of the user and the body uh, that came from the JSON API. So that's how simple it is to do JSON parsing with Swift 5 uh, with the inbuilt libraries. You do not need to use third party libraries for simple JSON and networking calls. So um, I guess that's it. If you guys learned anything from this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you are interested in more Swift tutorials like this in the future, feel free to hit the subscribe button because in the next few videos, I'll be showing you how to use this JSON data to uh, populate a table view so that you can present this data to the user and make it actually useful. So that's been it. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you soon in the next one. Happy learning.